Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back. I'm super excited to launch the new 2023 to 2024 mid-year iPad planners. We've got some new things this time around, so here is a brand new setup guide for GNOS 5 users. The device I'm using is the 11 inch M2 iPad Pro with Apple Pencil 2. Please make sure you're using Safari and please make sure you're also familiar with finding the downloads folder in your iPad's files app. If you're unfamiliar, simply search for the files app and on the sidebar, there should already be an existing folder named downloads. Once you've purchased the planner, you'll be given this PDF file, which stores all the download links for each planner variation, as well as the stickers and covers. You'll find this in the downloads folder I mentioned earlier. Tap on the share icon on the top right and choose open in GoodNotes. Once you have it open in GoodNotes, make sure you have read only mode turned on. There are multiple download buttons on the front page here. We're gonna start with the planner files, so tap on download. The new mid-year planners now come with all the signature planner colors, as well as an exciting new selection of neutral tab colors. In this particular video, I'm gonna download the rose color. Now you can choose whether you want hourly or half hourly formatting in your planner, and this affects the vertical weekly and daily layouts. After you select one, you'll be brought to the next step to further customize your daily layout. You can choose from a structured template with a schedule or a bullet journal style template that comes in grid and dotted options. I'm gonna choose the classic daily layout in Monday Start. Once you tap on it, you'll be prompted to open a page in Safari. Now at this point, if you run into any errors like cannot parse response or network connection was lost, please try refreshing the page. This fixes the issue 99.9% .9 of the time. So you'll see that the planner file will load up here. You then wanna tap the share icon on the top right and choose to open it in GoodNotes. Now your planner is imported and it's ready to be used. To maximize screen space, double tap on the screen with your finger so that the planner fills as much of the screen as possible. Again, make sure you have read-only mode turned on so you can start using the hyperlinks. On the month page, you can jump to the weekly page by tapping on the lower left corner of each week. This will bring you to the classic weekly layout. You can then jump to the vertical and box layouts, but the classic will always be the default weekly template. You can tap on a day to head to the daily page as well. And you can also tap on any date on the monthly calendar to get to the daily page. The planners now also have a feature where you can jump back and forth between the previous and next weeks through these arrow icons. On the top right are icons to head to the various monthly planner templates including goals, wellness, finance, and reflection. There are also extensive hyperlinks on the yearly calendar so you can go to any week and day of the year. There is a new key dates page which has hyperlinks to the month through the titles. And on the new vertical calendar overview, you'll also be able to jump to the daily pages. The planner also has a hyperlinked notepad at the back where you can create custom notes and file them under 12 different sections. To build your note sections, head to the template you'd like to use, and on the top right, tap the three dots, then tap copy page. Then head to the section you'd like to use, go to thumbnail view, tap the arrow under the sections page, add a page after, and paste page. You can also duplicate the templates here and then drag them under the section of your choice. Now that you've downloaded the planner file, let's move on to the stickers. Head back to the download dashboard and navigate to the stickers tab. The planner comes with two different minimalist sticker styles and they both come in GoodNotes elements files as well as individual PNGs. To download the elements, tap on the corresponding button to begin the download you'll need to navigate back to the downloads folder on your iPad. The file first comes as a .zip file because there are a few collections you'll need to import. Tap on the zip file to reveal the file contents. Inside here, you'll see a few collection files, one for each color included. So go into the app, create a new elements collection and import the .collection file. 
you'll see that the collection will populate with stickers and you basically just need to repeat the step for all the dot collection files included. Just to note, there is a glitch with GoodNotes where when you place a sticker, it might come out crooked after you resize it. The current fix for that is to tap on the Photos tool, then tap on the sticker to rotate it. So now we're going to go over how to change your planner cover. Head back to the download library and go to the covers tab. You'll be able to download 17 different planner covers as well as matching shortcut icons if you want to add your planner to your home screen. The cover file is just a PDF file itself, so like the planner, it'll open to a Dropbox page that you will simply share to GoodNotes again. Once you're here, scroll through the covers, pick one that you like, then tap on the three dots on the top right and tap copy page. Once you've copied the page, go back to your actual planner, open up thumbnail view, tap the arrow under the cover page, choose to add a page after and paste page. Now you can delete the old cover page. Do the same for the back cover and now you've just switched out your planner covers successfully. Before adding the planner to the home screen, I'm going to rename it to Mid-Year Planner. To download the planner icons, tap on the corresponding button. The planner icons will come in a zip file full of individual PNGs, so once it's in your downloads folder, just tap on it once to unzip it. Select all the files in this folder and tap share to save to images. They will now be in your photo album. Now it's time to add the shortcut. Open the shortcuts app on your iPad, choose to create a new shortcut, and on the right side, simply type in the name of your planner file which in my case is Mid-Year Planner. Then tap on this icon on the right and tap Add to Home Screen. You can now name your shortcut and also choose an icon to represent it. So that's it for the installation guide. I hope you found this video helpful.